Hey, what's up? This is Jay Bat, and today I will be doing a review for Batman Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. And this was a crossover comic tale which featured the superheroes Batman and Judge Dredd. And the villain of this, uh, this comic was supposedly the Riddler. But there are some spoiler alerts in it. I won't spoil it for people who haven't read it, you know. But yeah, this was like a crossover tale featuring uh, Batman, Judge Dredd, and The Riddle. The Riddler. And this is uh, Jay Bat, and this will be my review. Hey, what's up? This is Jay Bat, and today I will be doing a review for Batman and Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. So it's called Batman and Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. Now this is like another crossover tale between like Batman and this time Judge Dredd. And the riddle, Riddler is like the villain of the, of the story or whatever, you know. So I'm going to touch on all that. So this will be my review for Batman and Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. And this was released in 1995. Okay. Now the writers for this tale were uh, Alan Grant and uh, John Wagner. And then you had the artist, which was Carl Critchlow and uh, Demonte De Power. And the letter was uh, Richard Starkings and also done by Comic Craft. Now the artwork for this was kind of, it was kind of cool. It wasn't like the best artwork I ever seen for like a comic tale, you know, it's like on the level of like uh, the Killing Joke or uh, the Long Halloween, like other Batman, like, you know, graphic novels like that. It wasn't good like that, but it had like some cool, like, you know, like art in it, you know, and it had like a heavy metal type style of art, you know, like the heavy metal magazines that had like the comics, you know what I'm saying, and whatever. I used to be a fan of those. They had like an artwork style kind of similar to those, you know. You would think you read like a heavy metal like comic book, but it's Batman study, you know, like their own like tales and stories, you know. Well, the comic, it opens with like Batman. You don't really know what city he's in. I believe he's like in Gotham City, but it's like it's a reason why they don't really stress that, you know, that much in the opening of the story or whatever. But Batman, he's like swinging around like the city or whatever, and he's like chasing like riddles. He's like following like riddles that the Riddler left behind. So he finds like this one last riddle, and then he he, uh, he goes where the riddle tells him to uh, go or whatever you know. Where he figures out where he believe it is, so he goes to, like this bridge. Then he actually finds the riddle. You know what I'm saying? Then the riddle like causes like kind of an explosion, and boom! Like Batman still captures him, and they have like a little like a little fight somewhat. Then boom! All of a sudden they are like locked inside like these like jail cells, you know, like these like jail cells. And then Batman sees like Judge Dredd. You know, like he's in like a jail cell too, locked in with like some kind of like creature thing, I think, or whatever. And I'm not that familiar with the judge. I know Judge Dredd, but I'm not really that familiar with him, you know. And plus, this was released at the time that uh, Batman Forever and like Judge Dredd were both in theaters back in 1995. I think around that, that, I think around that summertime. I know both of them have movies in the theaters, you know. I went and saw both of them. I saw Batman Forever and Judge Dredd at the theater, you know. So that's when I first knew of Judge Dredd because of the film which stars Sylvester Stallone as. But somehow Batman and the Riddler, they end up in the jail cell and they see Judge Dredd also in the jail cell. But then like the comic opens up and you see like it's a whole bunch of like jail cells, you know, like jail prison things. And they each all have their own like uh, creatures and like different kind of species of people what are locked inside these cages, which is kind of odd, you know. So apparently there's some some kind of way they ended up in another dimension supposedly, but it's a spoiler alert. I'm not going to spoil it, but it, like in the end it is revealed, you know, what I'm saying something about how they got in this other dimension. But there's like this villain known as the Emperor, I, I guess Zero, is, but it has like an X. His name is spelled with an X E R O, so I think it's Ezor, Zero or something like that. He supposedly made a bargain with the Riddler to lure Batman to him, and the Riddler did. The Riddler succeeded in luring Batman to him, you know what I'm saying? So then Zero, he actually gets upset with the Riddler and actually kills the Riddler. Supposedly kills the Riddler, you know what I'm saying? But I'll touch on that, I ain't want to ruin it, you know what I'm saying? Because the Riddler was asking for like his pay for like bringing Batman to him, you know, then he supposedly like just blasts him with some kind of like device or whatever that ain't from our world, you know? 
you know, you know what I'm saying? It supposedly kills the Riddler at the beginning in Batman's jail cell. So after uh, Zero kills the uh, the Riddler, or Zekra, I guess I'm still having trouble saying his name, I know it started with an X. After he kills the Riddler, he uh, he tells Batman that each year, he tells Batman and Judge Dredd both that each year he celebrates by bringing together warriors from different worlds to do battle for his pleasure. So he basically brings together like different warriors or even like heroes I guess you could say from like different like worlds and to do battle right in front of him so today he decided to do like a, a a contest that he would call the hunt and he has like eight hunters I think it's eight hunters yeah he chooses seven warriors and they all have to uh, at least they have to at least kill Batman and Batman will be the chorus of Batman is basically the prey so even Judge Dredd is involved in this but he chooses not to kill Batman you know so the hunt, when the hunt begins, so whoever doesn't kill Batman, like the winner who kills Batman, they go free. But whoever doesn't kill Batman, they all have to die. So you know, of course, only one person can kill him of the seven hunters, which includes Judge Dredd too. And Batman is the quarry to prey. But like I said before, like the Judge Dredd, he does, he does, he want to kill, he want to agree on killing Batman. So when once they are released from their cells, they actually team together to take out. The Emperor Zero of Zek Zero, I know, and spelled with an X, but I believe it's Zero, you know what I'm saying? They actually agreed to take him back, you know what I'm saying? So that's what the story now, is. I'm not kind of spoiled anymore, but you know. But I, I, I thought I thought it was, it, was, it was okay. But but the artwork in it was cool because it has like a heavy metal type, you know, the magazine Heavy Metal, you know, which had like comic stories. And like, I used to be a fan of those, I used to always read those too, you know, because they even had a movie called Heavy Metal, you know, and it was like animated and stuff. But the artwork is very similar to that that style, you know. But it features like Batman and Judge Dredd together, and the Riddler is actually one of the, the main villains in the centerpiece too, you know. Then you have like that Emperor Zero or whatever. Now, see, he could be a Judge Dredd uh, enemy too. I don't, I don't really know because I'm not really that, that familiar with the Judge Dredd, you know, character or whatever. But like the creatures in it, you know what I'm saying, it has like various creatures in it and the enemies in it and they speak their own like languages and stuff so that also kind of made it kind of, you know, odd and kind of, you know, not really there, you know. But like I thought the artwork for it was, uh, you know, it has some cool like images, you know, in here. I noticed the characters were drawn very like muscular looking too, as you can see, like there's a shot of like Batman in it, you know, how he looks right there. He looks like very like, you know, they drew him real good, you know, in detail. Even Judge Red, you know, the kind of uh, kind of cool as you can see. The artwork was done for him pretty well, as you can see right there. So yeah, this is my review for uh, Batman Judge Dread, the Ultimate Riddle, and this was released in '95, you know. And I thought this was okay. I, you know, I, you know what I'm saying, if you wanted to check it out, what I would recommend. It's kind of decent, you know. Probably only for like Batman fans or like Judge Dredd fans, you know, them part of the ones who should give it a shot, you know. Okay, so this is J Bat, and this is my review for Batman Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. Alright. Hey, what's up? As you can see, this is a Batman Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle comic. You can actually consider it a graphic novel because it was like a one shot, you know. And this was created in uh, 1995. I remember getting this during that time. I think it was during the summertime of, of 1995 when uh, Batman Forever and uh, Judge Dredd film was out, you know, with Sylvester Stallone playing Judge Dredd. I think that's when I had picked this up at the time, you know. So as you can see, like, the artwork in it was very similar to, uh, to like, heavy metal, like, magazines, you know, like the heavy metal magazines. It was very similar to that, cause you know they had they have that like dark, gothic look to them, you know. The characters are very like muscular looking and stuff, you know. So I thought I thought I thought the images were kind of cool, you know. They looked kind of cool. Not the best artwork I ever seen for like comic books, but I thought they did like a good job on them, you know. I thought though I would recommend reading just to see like you know the unique art style that it had, you know. The book wasn't really that long either. It's kind of, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of on the short side. I, I could read it in like 30 minutes, you know. And I thought it was okay, you know. I guess, you know what I'm saying, if you're a Batman fan, I wouldn't really, you know. I guess you could check out if you're interested, you know. As you can see, like the characters, a lot of them were like muscular and stuff. Okay. 
Now the artwork for this was done by uh, Carl Grichlau and uh, Dermot Power. And the lettering was done by Richard Starkins and Comic Craft. Now the writers were uh, Alan Grant and John Wagner. And Dennis O'Neill also returned as the editor. Okay, so this is Batman, Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. And this is J-Bat. In the end, Batman, Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle, it was, it was okay. I thought it was all right. I thought the artwork was kind of, you know, it wasn't the best I've seen and, and like some of the other comics, but I thought it was uh, pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? It had like a heavy metal type, you know, artwork style to it, you know. I thought I, mean, I thought the storyline was kind of, uh, it, was, it was okay. I didn't really like the storyline that much, but the look of it was kind of cool, you know. So this is uh, Jay Bat, and this is my review for Batman Judge Dredd, The Ultimate Riddle. All right.